Hello, my name is Juan Antonio Contreras, and I am the go-to-market for bags and cases. Today, I'm here to talk about the sustainability practices Dell embeds into the production of our carrying bags and cases. At the core of everything we do, we want to help our customers carry their things with peace of mind. We design bags that provide great protection for your laptops, and we do it with the environment in mind. As part of our Dell Technologies 2030 Sustainability Moonship goals, we have implemented recycled content into our EcoLoop branded cases. In addition, we have implemented innovative and sustainable processes to help lower our environmental impact. Some examples are a solution dyeing process for our fabrics, recycling discarded automobile safety glass into a weatherproof coating, and giving plastic bottles a second life. In our EcoLoop Pro series, we have introduced the usage of ocean-bound plastics, which are likely to otherwise enter the oceans and can create harm to marine life. However, our work does not end there. We put thought in the packaging we use as well. Our hang tags, hang loops, and plastic bags are constructed using 100% recycled content. Like the name implies, ocean-bound plastic is a material which has a high likelihood of entering our ocean and becoming ocean plastic. Dell has already diverted 132 metric tons of plastic from the ocean, which is equivalent to the weight of 70 vehicles. In many areas of the world, there is no formal waste disposal system, so heavy rainfall, a hurricane, or intense winds push material into the ocean. So much so, estimates are that each year, 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enter the oceans. By 2050, there may be more plastic than fish in the sea. Dell understands the challenge and wants to help mitigate. Hence, we partner with OceanCycle to certify our ocean-bound plastic material. In order to qualify, the material must meet some strict criteria. It must be post-consumer waste, it has to be collected from within 50 kilometers or 30 miles of a coastline, or along a riverbank within 200 kilometers of the river's mouth, and it has to come from areas that lack an established municipal waste management system. The plastic will then be processed into flakes, flakes into yarns, and yarns into fabric. So far, Dell has diverted the equivalent of about 14 million plastic water bottles of ocean-bound plastic, which is roughly the weight of 18 orca whales or three humpbacks. What is even more inspiring, though, is the collection of this material provides wages to a large global population of informal waste pickers who collect it. That makes it good for the environment, and it also helps provide wages for those people. Solution dyeing is really an unsung hero in textile production. It is an alternate way to color yarns and fabrics, which uses far less resources than traditional dyeing processes. Traditional dyeing involves heating a huge bed with water, dye, undyed fabric, up to a boiling and keeping it at a temperature for several hours. Even then, only a small percentage of the dye attaches to the fabric. Most of it remains on the water. Solution dyeing, however, is less wasteful of a process. When the yarn is being created, the dye is added at the same time. Comparably, only a very small amount of dye is needed and avoids the need for those huge vats of boiling water. This process can generate up to 90% less wastewater, up to 62% less CO2 emissions, and use up to 29% less energy than traditional dyeing processes. We want to encourage consumers to consider goods made with this type of dyeing process, as it can have a considerable impact on reducing environmental waste. RPET is shorthand for recycled polyester. It is commonly known as the material used to make single-use beverage bottles, but it can also be processed into yarns for use in textile production. In the typical mechanical recycling process, bottles are collected, shredded, and chopped into small flakes. Then they are cleaned and dried. Next, they are melted and processed into small pellets. From there, they can start their journey into becoming new yarns and fabrics for use in our bags. Using RPET helps keep our environmental waste in check while giving the material a second life. By using these recycled materials, we've actually managed to divert 12 metric tons of recycled plastic. That's equivalent to 1 million plastic bottles. RPBV is shorthand for the recycled version of the plastic originally used to make safety glass shatterproof. It might not seem like it, but safety glass used in cars and other vehicles is actually made from several layers of glass, with a thin plastic sheet between each layer. For our products, we recovered this thin plastic layer and use it as a weatherproof coating for our fabrics. Before it reaches landfills, glass is recovered from automobiles at junkyards and recycled into glass. We recover safety glass from junkyards before it reaches a landfill. Then it is crushed and broken down to recycle as much of the raw glass as possible. Next, it is washed and cleaned until only the rough flakes of the plastic remain. These flakes are all then melted, extruded, and chopped into pellets, which can then be processed into the coatings used on our fabrics. It's just a wonderful way to avoid generating virgin coating materials, 
it helps reduce landfill waste, and it keeps your valuables clean and dry. Sustainability is not only about the physical product itself. We also want to reduce our packaging impact as much as possible. First, we try to use as little packaging as possible. Most of our products only have a small hang tag, which is used actually for identification. Second, we set our goal to use only 100% recycled content in our packaging. This means that the hang tag, the small hang loop to attach the tag, and the overpack bags are all made from 100% recycled content. Join us on our journey to make a positive impact on our environment. Help protect your laptop and the planet.